Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read A Little Spot Makes Friends, written by Diane Alber. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Hi, my name is Learning Spot. I'm here to show you how to make friends. Why do we need friends? Friends can make any activity much more fun. Play, dance, cry, explore, laugh, create, draw. Friends can also make you feel loved and prevent you from feeling lonely. What do we need to do first? The first step in making a friend is remembering their name. This will make them feel important. How many friends do we need to make? That's really up to you. Some people have a few friends and some have a lot of friends. One way isn't better than the other. But it's important to be nice to everyone. You never know who your next friend will be. It's normal to feel a little anxious when making a new friend. Try to practice smiling and saying hello when you are out and about. Hi. The more you practice, the easier it will be. How many people did you say hello to today? Hi, hi. Sometimes you can make friends just by joining in on the fun or invite others to join in with you. Do you want to play with us? May I listen to? When you meet someone new, your body language can say a lot. If you are looking down or you have your arms crossed, it can look like you are not interested in meeting someone new. If you are smiling and standing tall, it makes you look friendlier. There are so many places to meet friends. Places you see the same people over and over again are great, like at school or in sports, neighborhood, parks, band, sports, clubs, school. When you see someone repeatedly, it can start to feel like you know them. This will make it easier to become friends. Hi, Julia. I remember seeing you at the park last week. You remembered my name? That is so cool. Try doing an activity you enjoy outside your home at the same time every day. This can help you meet someone with the same routine as you, and you will already have something in common. Hi, I saw you yesterday riding your bike. Yes, I remember you too. I like to ride my bike right after school too. When you have things in common, it gives you something to talk about. It also lets you know what you could enjoy doing together. You can find out what you have in common by asking good questions. The great thing about these questions is that you can use them with every new person you meet. What is your favorite video game? What's your favorite book? What was the last book you read? Do you have any pets? What's your favorite animal? Why? Do you have any brothers or sisters? After you ask a good question, it's important to be a good listener. Listening is more than just hearing someone talk. It's about learning too. This will also help you find things in common. I have a pet bunny named Potato. I love music. I love pizza. 
in general, people need personal space. When someone sits or stands too close to you, it can make you feel uncomfortable. That's why you should imagine that everyone has their own hula hoop space. A hula hoop is a great way to see how much space you should give a friend. Uh-oh, where is your hula hoop space? This is a great distance. It's hard to make a friend if you feel nervous or angry when they are constantly invading your hula hoop space. When this happens, just remember you have choices. Number one, stay calm. They may not realize they are too close. Number two, take a step back or walk away. Number three, if you take a step back and it doesn't work, tell them in a nice way that they are too close. You are a little close. Can you please give me more space? This is a perfect distance. Being kind is a great way to make a friend. You can do this by doing and saying nice things like, that is a great picture of a cat. We missed you. We wanted to come by and say hi. I have an extra popsicle. Do you want it? I like your shoes. Thank you. A good friend is nice. To avoid being bossy, try changing your volume and tone and add magic words. Please, thank you. Try using words like please and thank you as often as possible. Turn bossy into nice. Move. Can you please move? Help me now. Can you please help me with this? Let's go. Can we please go? Don't do it that way. Can you please try it this way? Put it here. Can you please put it here? We all have thoughts every day. Some thoughts are meant to stay as thoughts because they can be hurtful. And some are meant to be spoken because they can be helpful. Sometimes it's hard to know the difference, so always try to think before you speak. Think. Is it true? Is this a fact, opinion, or feelings? An example of an opinion would be if someone said something was weird or gross. Those words can be hurtful. Is it helpful? Does it help you, them, or the situation? If not, it should stay a thought and not be spoken. Is it inspiring? Does it make someone feel better about themselves or the situation? If not, it should stay as a thought and not be spoken. Is it necessary? Does this person really need to hear what you have to say? If not, it should stay as a thought and not be spoken. Is it kind? Are you using words to describe someone or something in a negative way? If not, it should stay as a thought and not be spoken. Sometimes it's hard to share friends. A good friend will understand that it's okay to belong to several groups of friends. If you don't want to do something because it feels uncomfortable or wrong, a good friend would support your decision. If there is something that you want to play with and it's not yours, always ask first. This shows that you respect them and their feelings. Can I see your globe? Sure, thank you for asking. Sometimes a friend might do or say something that you don't like. It's important to manage your emotions. Friendships can grow stronger by resolving conflicts in a healthy way. If you feel like you want to yell, kick, or hit, try this instead. Number one, find your peaceful spot so you can calmly talk about what happened. Number two, 
Say how you feel and why. An example would be, when you left me out of the game, it made me feel angry. Some days making a friend will be easy and some days it will be hard. Always remember to be yourself. A friend will like you for you. There is a friend for everyone in this world. Sometimes you just need to learn and practice how to make one. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.